Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Well, good day. Thank you, guys. This is the Bella Dravini Show, and we're broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? Ryan Hurst. And Kyle Gallner. Well, guys, I want to thank you, because I want to tell you, you're on my new favorite show. Woo! Oh, good. Good. Yeah, right the on. Outsiders, it's intriguing. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's different. And tell me, if I could start with you, Kyle, tell me, tell me about your part, and tell me about The Outsider. What's making it so exciting? Um, I play Hassel Farrell. Uh, I play a young man up on the mountain who's um, <clears throat> kind of lured back down into lured into town by a, uh, a beautiful young woman. Mm. Um, and what's exciting about the Outsiders? I, I think it's just it's very like you said it's very different. It's 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 kind of like nothing you've ever seen. It's a uh, it's a brand new world with a you know brand new group of folks that have never really existed anywhere but yeah. on this show um you know they're totally fictional we've totally created them and and made them up i think it's all you know it's all very new and very interesting and exciting to watch ryan and your part my part um i play uh, little foster you know he's sort of this big lovable confused guy you know <laughs> with hair on his face and his head and he you know, puts paint on himself every once in a while. You know, um, sounds like Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and he, he's it's it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful, wild show. You know, there's there's a lot of shows out there right now, but you know, you kind of with ours, you get a little bit of everything. You get a little bit of a cop show, a little bit of a drama, and then, you know, and this wild sort of, you know, Mad Maxy kind of show also. It is. You know, I'm I'm fascinated by clans and I mean this is just as much as you get of a clan uh, looking on the inside let me ask you you guys are doing something different you know you're doing uh, um, uh, people were well, you with David Morrissey I talked to him uh, recently and he just loves what he's doing and it's a different show Mm -hmm. How is it? How how are you different after being a part of this great show? Are you different? Or are you still the same? I'm the same. I'm di <laughs> I'm different because I'm the same. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> you know. I I think everybody's sort of growing into this show. You know, is we all sort of showed up because when we read the the script, we. Every, you know, it was a very hot script floating around Hollywood because everyone went, what is this thing? And I think that, you know, a lot of the actors showed up with that kind of, you know, um, very intrigued about, you know, who these people were and what this story was actually about. And, you know, um, so we're, you know, we're kind of finding it all together, which I think is really a beautiful experience. Well, let me ask you this. So you've got this clannish kind of environment that's pitting the clan against, I guess, I'm thinking the people in the town. The people in the town doesn't understand the clan. Is that to create the tension, or is that how it really is, do you think? That's a good question. You know, um, I think... Anytime there's a lot of money at stake, you know, which is when the coal company comes in and says, look, we're going to, you know, give you a bunch of jobs and that there's somebody, you know, some group or some person, you know, sort of standing in between people and, and, and a lot of money that there's going to be some some tension. 
And uh, I think that that's what the you know the show is sort of based around that sort of that very simple um, that very simple conflict, which I think everybody can can relate to. That if somebody comes along and takes your job, you know, is uh, is you're going to be upset. So um, we're just doing that with uh, you know people with crazy you know outfits and ATVs. <laughs> It's a, it is a little bit different, but I think we we, we see that throughout America. There, uh, uh, we just had a standoff, I think, in Texas of ranchers who who occupied a wilderness kind of thing, and and they were kind of clannish as being ranchers, not family, but ranchers. Then for us in Texas, I've got uh, uh, another group of people in a place called Sand Branch. They've got. Uh, great sand and great water, and uh, the state wants that. So they're mm. kind of clannish as far as being uh, freed slaves who live out in this this area. Mm. So I see it playing out. So it's a reality, and you guys are just kind of you. I don't know if you know it. You're on the pulse of reality. I'm sure your writers know that. Yeah, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Yeah. But you guys are are are, are setting a new social norm. I like the show Outland, uh, uh, your show, because it's different, mm. great acting, mm. it tells a story, and it gives an insider look at what it means to be family. So we really like that. Oh, good. I'm good. glad. Yeah, and you guys are doing a good job in your role. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And, you, and so you guys are on job, WGN, who I say is changing the game. They really are. You've got uh, your show. You've got Underground. You've got a lot of good shows. So you guys got a chance to be really successful. When do you guys want us to watch you? Tuesdays at 9 p.m. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you said it right. I think WGN has to change their, their slogan. I think I, I, I like what you said. It's WGN changing the game. They're changing the game. They really are. Uh, we're tuning in. We like what we see. So keep doing what you guys are doing, and we'll keep watching. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for being my guest today on the Valder Beatty Show. Thanks for having us.